guys and one of gospel music's best friends. Help me welcome comedian Mickey Bell. Thank you, sir. Bill Bailey looking good, losing up that way. True, true. I love it, man, looking good. How's everybody doing tonight? Good deal, good deal. By a show of hands, how many Booth Brother fans do I have here with a drinking problem? <laughs> Ladies are still waving. <laughs> they didn't hear me. So good. I heard Greater Vision singing a song about old people. Everyone's walking out and not trying to get in time for tomorrow night. So good though. I want let me real quick, let me get a let me get a look at the crowd. I want to get the median age. <laughs> Alright, now that I've got the median age, I'm wondering why we didn't have this concert this afternoon at 3.30. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? We could have had the concert, kept our dinner reservations at Cracker Barrel, we could have been at home and in the bed by the six o'clock news. <laughs> Oh no, 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 Bill Bailey wants to have us out past dark. And then I saw we had smoke. Did y'all see the smoke that was flying around? Yeah. They must have bought a new machine. Yeah. We can't afford that at the church where I go to in Alabama. We can't afford all that smoke. We just let our deacons come on stage and smoke before the service. <laughs> our services are brought this, somebody keeps cutting my mic off. That's not funny. Mine's a woman to hear. It's, mine must be Pentecostal. It keeps going in and out. I didn't know it. <laughs> Pentecostal scare me, by the way, too. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Because y'all have what is called prophets. Last year, I lost 25 pounds. I went to a Pentecostal revival. There was a prophet there. She stood up. She said, sir. And I said, yes. She said, God told me to tell you that everything you lost, he's going to restore to you tenfold. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's what we got to decide. We live in an ultra-sensitive world where everybody gets offended about everything. So you're going to have to help me decide. I can either not offend anybody here tonight and we will leave and this will be the most boring show you've ever been to. <laughs> or I can dedicate my time and offend everybody here and this will be the best show you've ever been to. So hey, I just want security looking because some of you Democrats were not clapping. <laughs> Come on in, sir. You've not missed the Big Brothers. Come on, guys. <laughs> now, everything is just so offensive. And I didn't realize this. Did you know that the term Merry Christmas was offensive when they first started saying that? Yes! The word Merry, M E R R Y. Because back in the day, it meant slightly intoxicated. So when you said, I hope you have a, a Merry Christmas, you were saying, I hope you have a slightly intoxicated Christmas. <laughs> now, if you want to have a fully intoxicated Christmas, well, we call that an Nancy Pelosi Christmas. But it's all about you. What? Oh, no, you clapped. You clapped. Everything's changing. I didn't realize that until my wife and I decided we were going to go buy a new vehicle. And we were going to do that because this is a very big year for me. I've been married 25 years this year. So that's a big year. It's a big deal. Yes. 25 years to nine different women. And listen, this is a big deal. So we were going to go buy a new vehicle. They don't make vehicles like they used to. Now, I found out the other day, because they're making cars to do everything for the driver. I saw one the other day that they have a button, and when you press that button, it will parallel park for you. Are you kidding me right now? Ma'am, do you know how many times I failed my driving test because my car didn't have a button? They want the car to do everything. The one we were looking at, the driver's seat had seven different positions. 
had air conditioning that blows out of the back of the seat. I even saw a button on the dash. It said rear wiper. And I was like, no. <laughs> Satan. It's just some things you need to do for yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> McDonald's is changing. We went into McDonald's the other day. I had to walk up to a box to place my order. They call it a kiosk. That's a German word. It means I want you to do my job for me. I'm sorry. Last time I checked, you're the one getting paid $15 an hour to mess up my order, not me. But I went in there. Typed in my order, that box asked for a till. A till. The kiosk asked for a till. Let me tell you who I'm going to till. The first person that walks into McDonald's and knows how to fix that ice cream machine, that's the person who's getting my money. You hear me? Come on, somebody. I don't care if they have to come over from Chick fil A. It'll be their pleasure to come over there and fix that ice cream machine. Here's the world's worst drive through You ready? Taco Bell. It's the worst. Because I had this antiquated box at the drive through to take your order. Now, I could FaceTime my daughter when she was in college. She could see me and I could see her. She could hear me. I could hear her. She could understand me because we taught her properly and raised her right. She knows how to speak redneck. <laughs> Taco Bell's not learned about this new fine technology. And I know this because three weeks ago, we were going to go through the drive through after church. So we left church after the service. <laughs> Pulled up to the drive through This is what I heard. No lie. This is exactly what I heard. <laughs> to which I responded in my Alabama tongue. Huh? <laughs> Lucky for us, we had just left the Pentecostal church. So I was able to interpret what they were saying. Oh, I see you laughing. You sit there and laugh, but there's a Baptist family still sitting in line at Taco Bell because they don't know how to walk. Do I have any Pentecostals here tonight? Do I hear that? Yeah. Woo! That's the Pentecostal Amber Alert system right there. If any of them get lost, all they got to do is go, Woo! Do I have any Baptists here tonight? Do I hear that? Those are hypocrites. Those people have never wooed a day in their life. And you can always tell a difference between a Pentecostal woo and a Baptist woo. Pentecostals, they will take, take you and put you in a membership class to teach you how to woo properly. They do it with such great enthusiasm. It's like, woo! Baptists are more like, woo! <laughs> do I have any Methodists here tonight? I've never heard of Methodist shouting church, y'all. And I saw one right there. I know you're Methodist, I can tell, because you raised your hand just like you were voting. <laughs> Do I have any Catholics here tonight? Any Catholics? Are y'all Catholic? Do y'all just talking while I'm talking? <laughs> Good to be Catholic. So are y'all Catholic? Good deal. Thank y'all for coming. Uh, it's either this or bingo. <laughs> I love getting to do these concerts. I love Bill Bailey to death. I do. I love Bill Bailey. I wish we had a hundred more Bill Baileys to put on these top concerts everywhere. Because he knows how to do it right. He knows how to do it right. He knows how to do it right. Is that, is that how you want me to say that? <laughs> People ask me, they're like, Mickey, why is it that you do comedy? Why do you get up there and tell jokes? I said, I can't sing like Greater Vision. Chris Alden singing, I know a man who can. 
Oh my goodness. And we wonder why the Booth brothers don't last. It's because Mark Trammell and Gerald Wolf are already on their seatbelt machines. <laughs> somebody here tonight, you may say, well, Mickey, I just didn't think you were that funny. Well, from the bottom of my heart, <laughs> you can shut up. <laughs> I may not be that funny, but I'm better than a colonoscopy. Can I get a one more time? 